Hey, what's up all you Valley Maniacs? Valley Fine here, I am back. Welcome to the channel. In this video, I'm going to uh, show you my replay from the Kree event with Nick Fury. There's still a couple hours left on it as of me recording this. It should be coming back in October, though, according to uh, some of the uh, things that I've seen. I, th I think it was official. Um, but it might have been a data mine. I'm not remembering it right now, but I'm going to show you that. I'm going to be talking about some of the news. There's some real exciting stuff here. Uh, I do want to apologize about the live stream last night. I was driving around the airport. Uh, my wife's flight was delayed. Just could not get onto the live stream. Should be back on Monday, although it is Labor Day in the U.S. So uh, make sure you're turned into Twitter and uh, Facebook and Discord. And I will, uh, if there's any changes, I will announce that there. Uh, before we get into it, T Public. Still got some cool t-shirts here, a uh, bunch of t-shirts, hoodies, mugs, uh, phone cases, a bunch of different phone cases. All right, that's it. But let me stop bearing the lead because earlier this, today, it was today on Twitter, on the official Twitter account, check this out. Let me, let me pause this for you guys. I thought I had it paused. Let me go back. You could clearly see who is in the background of this Captain Marvel clip, and it is Storm. And... Uh, I, I can't say too much about her because I do have the NDA and I, I do know uh, some things about her. So, But I will let you guys speculate. What do you think her tags will be? How good do you think you, her, she will be? Uh, which characters do you think she will synergize with or are hoping at least? Um, but that's it. I can't, I can't say too much about Storm at this point, but uh, yeah. The, this was a fish. This was already. This was put out by Marvel Strike Force on their Twitter account themselves. So it is out there, and they released it before I said anything. So uh, that's what that is. All right. So let's get into the game. Some new things going on. We got events, and uh, this event is back. And this is so unexciting. These rewards, raid health packs. Ugh. Raid refill energy. Ugh. We got this mega orb, which I don't know if you guys have seen my last few mega orbs, but uh, they've been good characters that I've already had, and they've went right to Ultimus orbs, and sometimes it's that exact same character, and I get more Ultimus orb shards. It's just, I'm not excited about these mega orbs. Uh, they are what they are, so neither of these are very exciting, at least for me. Uh, I think uh, some of these earlier ones are a little better in terms of gold, but... Uh, I, I, from what I read on the Reddit, these all used to be gold and getting a bunch of gold, so kind of sucks. Uh, good news, though. This is the login rewards for the month of September. Some people have already got this because of the time zone change. And Bullseye is the character. And Power Cores are back, so that is a good thing. Uh, other good things, if they, they've changed the rewards for the... Alliance raids. Let's go take a look at uh, where, which one do I want to see? Number six. Let's go continue. Let's look at the rewards. Uh, they've all been upped a little, so that's good. So now the 30% of the level six Ultimus raid is much better than the level five. Although I, I still like level five. I still like to be able to auto some things in this game. Uh, Blitz. We got uh, more gold in the Blitz as far as the reward. Not just for the top tiers, but let's look at this, guys. Even the bottom tier, still gonna get four gold orbs. So uh, it's it's unlikely, but potential of uh, what is that? Uh, Twelve million gold is the potential. I, I think that is a very very slim, less than slim chance to do that. You know, it's probably gonna be ninety thousand times four, and then you get some crazy amounts of gold uh, on these higher ranks. So it is what it is. Haven't been pushing too hard on blitz. Uh, I'm gonna try for this one. But just the way the scores have been, if you just screw up once, it's, it's kind of over. Uh, unless you're going to spend a bunch of cores, and that's just not something I want to do. All right, so before I show you the Kree footage, uh, let me show you where my Kree are right now. I have not built them at all since I passed that Fury event. You know, 12, 12, 12. Uh, where's the other ones? These guys, I put some purple mats into them just because I did not have the gear. Everybody was gear 7. Actually, let me go over here and... I just show you the crease. So I could just scroll through all of them. Uh, I think everybody was at gear seven. So uh, at least at this go around, uh, you, you could do it at tier seven. Uh, I did have uh, two of these purple uh, ability up to level six. 
uh, just their basics though. All, all level seven, not huge power. Um, level 61 for most of them. Now I've found that Kree Oracle dies uh, pretty easily. So a after I bent to that stage, I just stopped working on him. So I didn't bother to spend any gold to level him up. Th this was where my guys were uh, in order to pass the event. Now, if, uh, if you don't get it this time, I have no idea what it's gonna be in uh october when it comes back because uh one of the trends that fox next does is they keep changing these events as they bring them back just like you guys i'm not a fan of that you know i, I think this ant-man and wasp new rewards kind of suck i mean i don't even know if i want to uh push hard for them right i'll go and play it but i'm not going to be working on my guys for a mega orb or some uh health all right so let's go and look at the footage from this event now uh, I think I got very lucky. I don't know if this is a re duplicatable strategy, but for some reason, I, I played this maybe five or six times, but for some reason, when I was playing this one, I this was the only one I recorded also, and it was the first time I recorded it, I actually passed it. So I had some kind of feeling, you know, maybe, maybe it was like a psychic feeling or something. I don't know, but uh, this is the battle. So uh, obviously, see, Oracle's dead already. Deadpool took him out on his second move, and you get a free Ultimus with this. And for me, that helped. Uh, as you can see, it gets very close. There's a sniper there. So because of the big damage, I want to make sure I take him out as soon as possible. I'm trying to get him before his first turn, but this uh, this taunt is just too tough to get around. All right, so Ultimus is very good against taunts, and he removes it. He didn't kill him. Uh, I don't know how strong this Ultimus is. Um, this is a replay, so I can't click on that button right there and see. All right, so now that sniper is dead. Not a lot of huge threats. I think Lieutenant was the next biggest threat that I thought in my mind. We got two soldiers here and the riot guard. Uh, 13 out of 17, so still a bunch of enemies. And these Kree, I, I'm hearing they're gonna have a rework, but uh, they're not they're not that good. They got some good damage. I, I like Reaper, I like Noble. Cyborg is okay. Royal Guard is okay, but it need, needs something to make him a better tank. And I think Oracle just sucks, you know? so. I'm glad that Deadpool killed him right away and I didn't have to uh, work on him. I'm also glad that I passed this event so I don't have to work on these. I think uh, I've been working on these for, what is it, a month and a half since it was announced on uh, Casino's channel. And I've been working on it since then. I'm kind of lost. After I, after I passed this event, I, I was like, who was I farming? It's been so long, I don't even know who to farm. And, I, and that was big. Her surviving right there. Uh, made the battle. That was a huge shot from Deadpool. I mean, look, you saw what it did to my battery, right? It, it drained my battery all the way down. So it took off uh, the health of the Oracle, or Noble. That's Noble. And it also drained the battery. So we got a bunch of cables, bunch of Deadpools coming up. I think that's the only opponents that are left right now. Uh, there's more cables, more Deadpools. And who is the bigger threat? Uh, they both have big moves at the end. Deadpool has that big... Uh, move it's, it's kind of a killer move because it attacks the weakest enemy and cable has some tough moves as well you know he, he's his his secondary skill removes turn meter which i forgot to mention in the speed video but uh, yeah it, it, it's 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 more of a passive that affects the speed bar but uh i think i explained it pretty well in the speed video and, and and i know a lot of you guys like that the editing style did take so long compared to this video so i i think i'm gonna save that for the special videos that i want to do we got four out of 17 right now we got just these two guys left i wasn't sure i was gonna pass it but after i beat this deadpool right here then i was like uh oh, maybe maybe we could get it done uh, because it was 2-on-1, and, and if you look at the last Deadpool that comes out, uh, very low health. Only three bars right there. Look at that. Very easy to kill. So, it, it is going to quickly turn into a 2-on-1 against Cable. Obviously, this Cable is a lot stronger than both of these guys. I, I don't know about this Ultimus. Uh, it might, he might not be stronger than Ultimus. I don't know this Ultimus' power. But, uh, there it is. I was so happy that I finally don't have to farm those Kree anymore. Um, and that's it. Let's go back to the roster, uh, because I'll, let me show you my shield characters right now. Uh, my low-level shield characters. This is where I have them built. Now, I've 
tested them out at this low level at tier 8 two times. They won one and they lost one. So even at tier 8, at this low level, obviously if you build them up, you've seen footage of them built up at max level, they, they can beat pretty much any team. But even at this low level, fighting uh, opponents that are uh, a lot higher than them, uh, it, it is a very small sample size, but I have managed to have a 50% win at tier 8 with them. Uh, obviously, the more I build them up, the better they're going to be just because their skills. And that's about it, guys. I'm going out of town this weekend. We got a wedding for Labor Day, but uh, hopefully I will be back on the live stream on Monday. Definitely want to get more content out. I've been uh, busy with other things. Uh, fitness channel that uh, launched the first video on that. I'm going to put a link to that down in the description so you can check that out as well if uh getting in shape and fitness is something that you're into uh, my background is in personal training it's probably been almost 20 years at this point so check that out and if you want to see more marvel strike force content subscribe to this channel here and that's about it as usual i got one question for you what you gonna do brett wait no 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 hold on hold on I, let me do that again i got one question for you <laughs> What you gonna do, brother, when Valley Flying and all the Valley Maniacs from all over the universe come down on you? Valley Flying, out.